Hi, I'm Neil Gilliman, Artistic Director and Conductor of your Dayton Philharmonic, and I'm happy to be here to give you a little Art in the City conducting lesson. I've never given a conducted lesson before. I hope I do okay. Um, but this won't be terribly complicated, but the idea is to give you a sense of just what it is a conductor does. Uh, it's not just waving your arms in the air, though that's part of it for sure. There are really five things that a conductor does. And the first thing is really important. You pick the music. So for the purpose of this conducting lesson, I have picked something everybody knows, namely Happy Birthday. We've been singing Happy Birthday a lot. I hope you have. Not just because it's people's birthday, but because that's we we've, we've been told that's the song you sing. You sing it twice, you get your 20 seconds of hand washing. So I'm singing Happy Birthday a lot these days, and I hope you are too. So pick the music. It's going to be Happy Birthday. Second thing the conductor does is the conductor has to count all the time because that's how you know the tempo and the pace of the music. Conductors count along with the music. So like for a march, we count two beats, depends on how many beats there are in the music per bar of music. So a march generally has two beats of music. So you count one, two, one, two. A waltz, you count one, two, three, one, two, three, etc. So happy birthday is happy birth two, three, one, two. So happy birthday is in three beats. So I'm just gonna count to myself over and over, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that sets the tempo inside me so I can show the musicians, you in this case, um, how fast the music goes. Pick the music, count. Third thing is, you sing, and I don't mean sing out loud because they're usually sometimes singers who do that. You sing inside. You sing the music to yourself, and that helps you know how the music should go, what the feeling of the music should be. And a conductor who doesn't sing inside, you can always tell. All right, pick the music, count, sing. Then we get to the beating. And the beating is actually pretty straightforward. Four Happy birthday, we already said it's in three beats to the bar. So we're going to be in a pattern of gestures with the hands that have three motions in them. And I'm gonna do everything mirror image to make it easier for you to see. We're all taught you have to conduct right-handed. Now, that's just right-handed people telling everybody else to do what they are. If you're a lefty, go ahead, conduct with your left hand. It's perfectly fine. Musicians will realize you're conducting with the other hand and they'll figure it out, they're smart people. But I'm gonna do it with my left hand, the mirror image for you if you're gonna do it right-handed. So the first rule of conducting, and it's a really important rule, is when you count, one is always down. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Happy birthday to you, okay? So if one is gonna be down, the beat before one, which would be three, has to go up in some way. So it's happy birthday to you, happy birthday, so up one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And you've already basically seen me do what you have to do on two. You go down and then you go out a little bit and then you go back up. So you're actually making a triangle, which makes sense. Triangle has three sides. The music has three beats to a bar. It's perfect. So our pattern is going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, happy birthday to you, just like that. Pretty simple. You can do it with the other hand. You can do it with both hands, mirroring. Conductors sometimes do that. When I conduct the orchestra, I'm always conducting the beat most of the time with my right hand. My left hand, sometimes I might mirror. Sometimes I'm turning the music pages. Sometimes I'm giving an indication to the musician. Sometimes I'm giving a cue. So the left hand, the other hand can do all kinds of stuff. The hand that's beating has to keep beating to, to show the time. Okay, so that's the basics of beating. Now there are two other things that are important in beating. And the most important one is getting everybody started. And you get everybody started by giving them an extra beat, a preparatory beat, before the music starts. Now, happy birthday actually starts on the third beat. Happy one, two, three, one. So the first beat we're gonna do with the music in happy birthday is that upward gesture of the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So the preparatory beat has to be what gets you there. 
So the preparatory beat in happy birthday is actually beat two. So you think one, two, three, one, two. Happy birthday to, and that's how it begins. And then with the, when it ends, you get to do the most fun gesture of all because it means you're done, which is called a cutoff. And a cutoff is just a circle that you draw in the air with your hand or your baton, if you're using a baton. And when you complete the circle, the music stops. So happy birthday to you, cut off, simple. And you can do the cut off with one hand or the other. You can do the cut off with both hands. You can do anything you like with a cut off. People are gonna watch you to know when the music ends. So pick the music, count, sing, beat. The last thing is the most important thing and that is listening. The conductor has to listen to the musicians who are making the music because you have to know if it's going okay. You have to know if anything is wrong. And if anything is wrong, you have to tell them what was wrong and tell them how to fix it. I'm not gonna do that because I can't hear you when you're singing happy birthday, so I don't have to listen to you. You perhaps unfortunately have to listen to my singing during this conducting lesson, but tough. I'm the teacher, you're the student, you gotta live with it. Okay, so before we actually do happy birthday, one or two little last things. The first one is, you know how happy birthday at the end, we sometimes get slower, happy birthday. Well, if the music is going in a steady tempo and you're just beating along and the music, then you want the music to get slower, you actually beat a larger pattern with your hand and that slows down the music like happy birthday art in the city happy birthday to you so large gestures help you slow the music down now there's one other trick that happens in happy birthday when you know when we do that big we do the big hold happy birthday art in the city and then people Hold, and then you got to know start you got to basically start the music all over again and that's when you sort of use a cut off and give an upbeat art in the city cut off happy birthday that's a little sort of lesson two but we'll just work it in okay so we're going to do happy birthday we're going to do it twice because it's the COVID era and we always do it twice to get our 20 seconds of hand washing in and um i'll slow down at the end and we'll do a hold and then we'll be finished. So now I'm gonna stop doing the mirror thing. I'll actually use my baton. And I use the baton with the orchestra. I don't really need it with you guys, just for a lesson. Um, but the baton is useful for the orchestra because some of the members of the orchestra actually sit really far away and they're not looking right at me. They're looking maybe at best out of the corner of their eye. And so when I have the baton in my hand, it just makes it a little bit easier for them to see what I'm doing. Okay, so happy birthday for real, for art in the city, and for the end of your conducting lesson. Here we go. We're ready for the preparatory beat, and we breathe, and I'm going to sing. You can sing too. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, art in the city. Happy birthday to you. Second time for hand washing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, art in the city. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for coming to this Art in the City conducting lesson. I hope to see you at the Schuster Center for a concert dressed in my concert attire, of course, soon. Don't know how soon, but as soon as we can. Take care, be safe, and enjoy Art in the City. Thanks.